Hello and welcome to another Sonic Lab. Today we're looking at the new Slate Digital Anna 2 bundles. So here it is. This is the new Circuit Breaker skin. Uh, there's a new bank as well and there's a bunch of new banks for this. And the Anna 2 Ultra bundle is part of that. It's part of the Access All Areas pass and you get a ton of a ton of plugins, if I may say, uh, really quite a significant amount. You can uh, do a month for month for twenty four ninety nine, or do a year in advance for ten bucks. Uh, Five thousand worth of plugins, they say. Uh, at six at sixty. I mean, there is a ton of plugins. It seems like actually a pretty reasonable deal in terms of what you get from them. But we're not really here to uh, to plug that. We're going to take a look at some of the patches. I'm going to start with the circuit breaker. Uh, basically, um, if I just come here, so you go to the patch browser. We've got all of these new batch, uh, new banks. What I've done is I've just gone and favorited a few of these, and I will now just flip through a few of them. So we'll start with, uh, am I on the first patch here? Let's just double check. Yeah, this one is the first one. And it's not like me, but I'm going to start with a kind of, uh, well, it's like a guitar patch. And one of the things I do notice about this is there are actually quite a lot of tasty distortion and um, distortion presets and algorithms in here and the effects. The effects are legion and they really do add to the sound. Uh, let's just try another one. This is a nice pad called Spirits of the Forest. Sort of evocative and atmospheric. Next up we've got Smooth Operator, which is, I mean, monster bass. Mod wheel is affecting. Sounds like the sync, and then we've got a fifth and a bit of reverb. Absolutely huge. Next, we've got Shake the Light. This is another bass patch. In a similar vein, actually. That low end is astonishing. And as you can see, the macros here really do make quite a difference to the sound, even though there are only four, and I did actually kind of uh, maybe bemoan that in the first uh, look I had at this, it still allows you to do quite a lot of sound mangling. Next up. fair to say the flavour of this uh, circuit breaker kind of bank is quite sort of bit reduced and sort of burny and slightly kind of degraded but it's, it's and what's quite interesting about this is all these skins you know this is the new skin for that uh, kind of reflect it and it's quite a clever way of doing this and it allows you to kind of really differentiate between the kind of sounds and the kind of UI that you're using and this is something I've not really seen before and because you can really tailor it to sort of suit the kind of sounds that you're making. Anyway, let's get back to another sound. This is another pad called Revival. And add a fifth to this with the...
Again, very evocative, nice stereo imaging as well on those effects. Next up, pick them all. Uh, this is a web sound. Gotta love a web sound, right? <laughs> Interestingly, uh, there is another bank in here, which I'll just quickly go to this, just because we actually met uh, Zardonic at uh, Superbooth. He was doing some FL Studio, and he's got like a whole bank of uh, sounds here. Uh, I'm going to try some of these. These are on, in a different skin. These are so you, you have taught, if you're really after Wub, these all come with it as well. So let's just go back. This is. Uh, If Wub is your thing, Zardonic is pretty much... Crikey. <laughs> Hold on a minute, better turn that down. I, I am digressing here, but these are some... There's some great patches in here from Zardonic, and he really is the, you know... A name in... Uh, in with this kind of sound. Really quite impressive, actually. One more. Yeah, nice. Anyway, that was a little bit of a sidetrack. I just wanted to throw that in there. So we'll come back to the uh, Ultra Circuit Breaker, so Magic Chant, and that gets us back to back on track. This is really interesting. It's got a vocal sound in one of the sample oscillators. <laughs> effectively use the macros here. This is adding a, a fifth, which I think... Just a mono voice, but... Is this the, uh, the, the monks in the Kung Fu movie that's slightly mystical in the cave that the uh, young apprentice wanders into somehow? Anyway, <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> Let's see what's next. Heavy hitter, another bass sound. good bass sounds in here actually oh there's actually quite a lot I've got in here maybe I should jump to another bank because uh, otherwise it's gonna take ages isn't it so let's try uh, ultra cinematic 2 again I favored a few here we'll come back and let's just have a look this one and you see we've got a different skin this is obviously a darker skin that's perhaps uh, more designed for Hours and hours working on media composition in darkened rooms where it won't tie your eyes so much. Very sort of joyful and uplifting kind of sound. Let's see what the next one is. The Forge. This is an effect, so I expect this is going to be monstrous. Oh, listen to that. That low end. In effect, the, the clang in that. Yeah, nice. Old piano tape. Oh, yeah, this is lovely. This is so Blade Runner, isn't it? This is the, uh, maybe, I'm, I'm guessing, right, this is the tender moment between a robot and a, the, the leading man where there's some kind of realisation that perhaps robots aren't so bad after all. Maybe they're going to have a kiss. Or is that a bit weird? I like that. This is another effect sound. Yeah, this is uh, in the heart of the alien machine room. Where's some weird stuff going down. 
Perhaps there's some sort of weird digital life forms emerging. <laughs> okay, what do we got? There's a couple more here. Let's go switch to another bank here. Uh, we've got the cinematic two. Let's try Ultra Detroit. Detroit uh, again. I favoured a few. The, this is more of your sort of NPC vibe, as you can see, and it's kind of sample bit reduced. There's some really lovely vinyl keys. It's got a lo-fi flavour, very NPC sound that kind of skin there. Okay. Maybe a piano sample. Just a great sort of whack on the front end. Which I'd imagine is going to be down to the compressor. Fallen Angel. Quite atmospheric, actually. Had a bit more of that phasey tone. Sort of evocative of earlier samplers with lower bit, bit rates. Detroit Roads. Really like the width and the stereo. Crunch. I like that. I like the aliasing. It's nice, isn't it? Last one. Andy Reese. Angry Reese, we guess I guess is a Reese bass. Okay, uh, let's now get on to uh, another bank here. As I said, I mean, this isn't really a review of the whole thing. This is just a kind of update because they've introduced these new banks and they want me to have a look at it. I want to say thank you very much for supporting us by sponsoring this video. Um, last time I really found a lot of sounds that I liked and you know, I've, I've found very much the same. I don't know how many there are total, but there are an awful lot. And whoever does the programming, they've got some really good people on the case. Right, so what's next? Let's get into a bit of uh, the next bank. Uh, let's try Anna 2 Factory Sounds. Actually, let's go to Anna 2 Factory Sounds because uh, I've uh, I found some really good ones in here and I may not have covered them before, but these will all come as part of the, uh, the subscription if this is what you get. So let's just listen to some of these. These are, all, all of them seem to be pretty good. This is just a regular polysynth, but quite fat sounding. Again. The low end is really impressive on these. It, it really does actually sound quite analog. I'm just, and I'm here listening to these on buds. I mean, if you're listening to these on any kind of decent speakers or headphones, I imagine you might have the room shaking. Let's have a look at this one. This is using the chords, I believe.
that's the basis of a, uh, um, a, a yes a slightly generic track but I mean you can't uh, deny the sound quality of uh, that sample right let's have a listen to this one this is just a huge bass sound <laughs> more drive to this. I mean, check this out. Better watch the volume there. Actually, it might be crunching a bit. Yeah, nice. Let's try the next one. I mean, these are all, I thought all of these just sounded... Oh, maybe if I just because there's quite a lot in here. There was some lovely... Oh, I'm trying to find there's one in particular that was... Uh... Oh look, there's one called a bat slide. A bat state. I'm guessing that might actually have something to do with me. Let's see if there's any pulse width going on. No, I tell you what it is, it's my penchant for square wave modulations of octaves. Well, I feel honoured to have a patch named after me. Excellent. Uh, let's just have a look. There was a really fantastic... Where is it? It was just... This one. This is it. This is just absolutely massive. Imagine this is a kind of... This is an all-encompassing pad. Sorry. Absolutely enormous. Anyway, that's a bit of a sidetrack, so let's get back on to our, um, our other banks. So uh, another of the new banks is uh, Vintage Analog 2. So again, I've got favorited stuff here. We'll just flip through a few of these and I'll go back to the main page and uh, bring my face up. <laughs> really try another one let's get that down a few octaves Like it's an Oberheim low pass filter. Nice modeling on those harmonics. Let's try another one. Another bass sound. That's one of the, uh, there are quite a lot of filter types in here. That's a Mogi low pass type filter. All right, next. Just a nice lead sound. Does it do? I wonder. Excuse my play. 
saying, but uh, I've got to I've got to try that one. Patch is called Might as Well Leap. <laughs> okay, let's see what this one. This is a mean Reese. It's going to be a bass sound. <laughs> A few more to go on this. Kamarabi pad, juicy triangles. Just gives you an idea of the, the sound of those oscillators. It's actually pretty tasty. Another lead sound. Fat triangle bass. Mess around with the Yeah, plenty of fundamental in that. That's got more bass than you're ever likely to need. And last one, nine choirs pad. Nice high harmonics in there, really like that. Okay, okay, let's have a look, see what else we would need to look at. Uh, ah, we've got the uh, Ultra SD12. Now this is an interesting one. This is kind of, so if I just again come up to the top. This one was the one that kind of looks a little bit like, um, well, an OP1, frankly. <laughs> I mean, that, I, let's not beat around the bush. And some nice patches in here, quite a lot of drum sounds. <laughs> A lot of samples and it's got a real flavour to it. That next one. Just drop that level down a bit. Add a bit of wonkiness via the pitch. This one, Spooky Drone Monks. Drop that level down a bit. Change the format. Yeah, very, uh, very atmospheric. Let's try another one. Rising Glitch Brass. Again, really atmospheric. Add a bit of glitch to that. guitar keys. What I really 
really like about some of these samples is, is they, they take a sort of a, a single sample and they stretch it sort of further than it goes and you get that really like, that lovely, uh, unique flavour to the sound. And I think whoever's programming these really gets, has got a handle on that, has done a really good job. That's an interesting one. Let's have a look at the other front. Wow. I don't know how they're doing that, but it sounds like it's got samples in it, doesn't it? Modwell is doing that rather interesting harmonic stuff. Hmm, like that. It's probably it. Last one. Yeah, another. Just another nice tom sound. Lots of low end. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, you know, just to reiterate, this is part of the Access All Areas Pass, uh, uh, which is. Let's just get down to the pricing. Uh, you can start this off. Uh, you try it free for a month for a start off, uh, but also if you just want to do a month, you can get Access All Areas for $24.99. Best deal is $9.99 a month, which is uh, a year in advance, and then or oh, $149 a year. So when you consider you're getting all of this other stuff in there, you know, we've got uh, Kilo Hearts bundle, we've got all these amps in bundles, we've got the, uh, there's just absolutely tons and tons of this stuff, virtual analog bundle, uh, yeah, I'm really impressed actually and I think you know it seems to represent fairly good value for money and just from a synth point of view As I said, I did look at the Anna 2 bundle when it first came out But these new uh, expansion packs just really add more to the whole experience and there is a lot of stuff there Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, see you next time. Take care